Wow, that was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Against the spectacular backdrop of the Singapore skyline, Formula One returns once again to do battle in what tends to become something of an endurance race, with the notorious sauna-like temperatures in the cockpit making for an extremely physically challenging race. It's a 3.1 mile lap here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit, with 47% taken at full throttle. It's hot, humid and bumpy around the 13 lefts and 10 rights of mostly slow corners, but we should see speeds of up to 200 100 miles per hour along the Raffles Boulevard. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Ricardo, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Perez, Magnussen, Gasly, Mick Schumacher and Esteban Ocon. Joe, Sonoda, Carlos Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Latifi, Stroll, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas and more. Verstappen and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out. So let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And with me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. Let's talk about more. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances. But what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another good race today. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Launch lap is good, but we need to learn the gears. So go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy...
got a lot of spare energy. job from you and the crew there mate we're delighted with that okay they clear the white line on the exit we'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving it's been then another classic Singapore Grand Prix and they've held on to take the checkered flag here today Natalie Pinkham how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was speed it sounds like an awfully reductive statement but fast cars win races and we saw that today with our winner After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? I have to give it to Moore. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.